Good morning. Hey, say hi, Aniel. Hi. Look at Tico. His shades on like it's the middle of the day in the beach. Wanted to uh, start by sharing a verse with some of you because I think sometimes life is so hard that we tend to lose hope. And I want you to understand that in God, through Jesus Christ, your brightest days could be ahead of you. Listen, the Bible says in the book of Ephesians, this is in chapter 1, verse 11, it says, Because we are united with Christ, we have received an inheritance from God. For he chose us in advance, and he makes everything work out according to his plan. Now check this out. Our Father in heaven, he's rich. He's got all the money in the world. So that means that we really don't have to like think like we're gonna be poor our whole lives, like we're gonna have to be sick our whole lives, like we're gonna have to have problems our whole lives because there's an inheritance coming to us. See my boys? Okay, they're Hispanic. Okay, they got blackish brown hair. Okay, they don't have to work at that. It's not like, it's not like if my sons aren't careful tomorrow, they're gonna wake up and not be boys. It's not like if they're not careful and Hanil doesn't eat his spinach or his berries or whatever mom makes for him. It's not like he's gonna wake up one day and have blonde hair instead of brown. It's, it's what he inherited from me. So all he has to do to grow up to be a nice, strong, good looking guy like his dad, come on, laugh with me, is stay healthy. And given time, what he inherited from me, those genes will play out. Now, same thing. Our Father in Heaven is a blessed God. And he has an inheritance for us. An inheritance that provide of provision, of health, of joy. All we have to do to receive that inheritance eventually is just stay connected to him, stay healthy in our relationship with him. That's all we gotta do. And sooner or later, at some point, we will receive that inheritance because like that verse says, God even now is making all the things work for us. So maybe you're hearing me right now and you're thinking, I don't know, money's really, really, really tight. Do the right thing. Put your finances in order. It may not happen overnight. You're probably taking a long time to mess it up, but see how you can eventually get to the point where you're saving at least 10% of your income and where you're at least tithing 10%. That's a really great start. And you're gonna see how that unleashes supernatural things in your life so that God's provision blesses you. Let's say you're listening to me right now and you're sick. I don't care if the doctors said it's uncurable. I don't care. The doctors don't know. It's called the practice of medicine. Most of the time, they just do what worked last time and hope it works again. Besides, last time I checked, God has the final word. So I really, really don't care what the doctor said to you. All I know is that our God is a supernatural God. So, and he made, gave you his body, which you inherited as a gift. And this body has this incredible ability to heal itself if you will just work at trying to follow the instructions, not eating poisons, not drinking poisons, giving the body the, the, the rest that it needs, giving it the spiritual recharging that it needs by being connected through meditating on God's word and prayer. I truly believe that this body that you have can heal itself. I've seen it happen many, many times in my life, in my life and my children, and in the lives of many other people that I've helped. So my point today is, have faith. There is a great inheritance coming to you because you 
are a child of the Most High God, and it's in your DNA. It's your inheritance. Okay? God bless you. Have a wonderful day.